How's everybody doing? No, it was, uh, it's more kind of like, uh, you know, probably what Blake said, it's a little bit of a mindset. Um, you know, I think for our our team, our players, a lot of them are not only, they're not only learning how to win, they got to learn how to be able to put their foot on the gas when you got somebody down like that. You know, the, the obviously the big possession where we, we missed a field goal, it shouldn't even come down to that. You know, we should have put the ball in the end zone, had multiple chances, um, started the drive with a penalty, had a couple of bust, um, and then ended up having to kick a field goal and missed it. And so having opportunities in a game like that early, um, you know, like I said, I, I think that our, our players, you know, they're not only learning how to win, but they got to learn how to do that. They got to learn how to have a killer mindset, uh, you know, when you get a chance like that. And so it's hard. It's not easy. Uh, winning's not easy. And it's definitely not easy, you know, for a lot of these guys that, uh, you know, they're just not, they're not used to being in that situation yet. And they got to learn how to do it, and they got to learn how to do it quickly. Is that something that can be kind of coaching from them still, or is that more of an on the fly, like kind of need to learn in the game in the moment? It's one of those deals. In my experience, you know, once once you kind of get a taste of it, it's it's almost like an addiction. Like once you learn how to put somebody away, um, once you learn how to win, um, it it becomes one of those deals. It it happened. I I can remember it multiple times. Um, our first year at North Texas. Very similar team coming off a year before in 2015. I think they went one and eleven, and you know it was kind of back and forth. You know we had we had a team that they wanted to believe that that they could be good. They wanted to believe that they could win games, um, and it was about the fourth, fifth game of the season where we finally kind of kind of broke through that wall and won a game. And once we did that, it was like it just kind of rolled from there. And so that's we're still waiting on that moment. Um, talk to our guys about it all the time. You got to. Our guys want to win. There is no doubt about it. They try. They play um, as hard as anybody I've ever been around. Um, but they got to learn how to finish, and they got to learn how to win games like that. And once they do, you know, it. Like I said, it becomes it becomes one of those things. Like you get addicted to it, and you just you believe you're going to win every game that you're in. Yeah. No, 100%. And that's, you know, it's hard to find positives after a game like that. But you, those were some, some big positives for us as a unit. Um, just looking back at the, at the App State game, I don't know that we had the same belief that we had in the second half versus Liberty. And what I mean by that is, you know, that was something we talked about all week of, like I was talking about a second ago, like you have to, you, our guys want to win, but they got to believe it too. And I think our guys, they're starting to really, really feel that. Um, I don't know that I could have said that the second half of App, but last week, you know, they go down and score, um, and I think make it 24-21, or uh, and then we go down and score. They go down and score again, and we're right there driving the ball. We're deep in their tor territory with about six minutes left, and then you know have an unfortunate turnover, which can't happen, and we got to get it fixed. And but there was no there was no doubt or lack of belief in our guys that we were about to go score again right there and take the lead again, and then hopefully defense finish it out. So that was in my mind that was a step from the week before, and like I said, this is a process, and and I hate it. I wish we could learn after wins, but we're having to learn after a couple of losses now. Um, but it's stuff we got to get fixed and we learn, got to learn how to finish and, and not have those turnovers and be able to go punch it in and score again. Your offensive line has seemed to improve each week. They have a very tough test this week against uh, UTSA. So what are your thoughts on how they've progressed since week one? They really have. They're, they're playing really well. Um, they're doing a great job in the run game, being on the right spots. Um, they're doing a great job in pass pro. Um, you know, we had a couple of just breakdowns that happens at times and some empty stuff. Um, but I think they're playing really well. You know, they're keeping Jake um, upright. Um, and so I, I've been really pleased. And you're exactly right. They're, they're a unit that have, they've gotten better and better and better each week. Um, and they got a test this week. You know, UTSA is probably up front in the middle. You know, the biggest guys that we've played, you know, a couple 300 pounders that, uh, that we got to find ways to move. Um, so they got a big test, and you know they they practice the right way. Obviously, Coach Maddox makes them practice that way and, and gets them going in the right direction. Um, but they got a big test this week, no doubt. As you look at Jake week to week, is there anything in particular you want to see him improve upon to take the next step? No, I 
he's he's kind of been the same way. I, I feel like he's improved every single week. He's making better decisions. I think you're starting to see him kind of play a little more freely. Um, I think that's where some of the scrambles are coming from. You know, he's been able to get through his reads. And if it's not there, tuck it and go run. You know, you know, score the touchdown on the first drive or the second drive of the game last week. Um, but just continue to do what he's doing. I, I think he's doing a much better job of just, you know, taking what's there and making the play that the defense gives him. Um, he's still he's still being aggressive, taking shots when they're there. Um, I, I want him just to stay on that track and continue to progress as he has. What's the balance of, hey, you got to do whatever you can to score that touchdown, and also, hey, don't go ahead first? And, you know, how, what do you say to that? Yeah, that's, that's a hard one. That's a hard one to coach just because, like, Anybody that's a competitor and in that situation, you want to go score and you're willing to put your body on the line. That's why we play this game. Um, but yeah, I would like him to probably roll a little bit more, not go exactly top of the temple right into the end zone. But no, I was. Uh, that's that's who he is. He's a competitor and he he wants to go get it, uh, do whatever it takes to get in the end zone. The ultimate professional. It's it's. I've been so impressed with Caton. Um, you know, it's one of those deals where it's, you know, I'm not having to go to him every week and be like, hey, man, you got to you got to be ready to play. You got to stay ready to play. He's doing that on his own. And he prepares like the starter every week. He asks questions in the meetings on the field. Um, he's as locked in as any backup quarterback um, I've been around. And it, it's hard. It's a hard situation, um, you know, but, you know, Jake's gotten better and better every week. And so has Caden. Caden's he's continuing to get better. Um, but he's been awesome. He's been awesome with Jake on the sideline. You know, I can I can hear when I'm on the phone with Jake, I can hear Caden sitting there talking about what he's seen on the iPads. Um, so he's been not only just a great, continue to be a great leader, he's been a great teammate, uh, not only to Jake, but to the to the other guys on the team. You know, Anthony and, and Jake have been close to the night on those deep balls. So I don't know, have y'all been working on the time in there? What, what's kind of like the takeoff there? You know, it's just... And you never know. It's it's one thing where he's got to slide over and, and balls comes up a little short or whatever it may be. Um, but you know we got to connect on some of those, and that's that's something that's a point of emphasis for this for us this week. We're not creating enough explosives, and you know we got to continue to take shots down the field. But we, it's time we start connecting on some. And there's some there's some technical things that we can do better at receiver as far as you know slowing down and going up and getting the ball when it's a little underthrown. Um, but that's a big deal for us as as quarterbacks. We want to give those guys a chance um, always. We don't ever want to overthrow guys. We don't ever want to throw them out of bounds because then that's just that's a wasted down for us. Um, you know, we feel like if we can put the ball in play, you know, something good's going to happen. We're either going to catch or get a pi. Um, and that happened a couple times the other night. You know, Chase came back and caught a deep one, took another shot to Yannick. He did a great job, kind of slowing down and going up and playing the ball and got a pi. And, and we got to get more of those because in in our minds, when we get a pi like that, that's 15 yards. And for us, that's that's another explosive play. Do you feel like Yannick in those freshman? He, he seems like he's ready for more snaps, and it's hard to get. Yeah. Him. No, he's he's got to play more, and he will play more. Um, he's he does a great job. You you would not know that kid's a freshman. You know he he stepped into that App State game there at the end and catches a big ball, and I don't think anybody even knew he was in the game. You know, but he he did a great job and and made a play. Um, but he's he's shown and proven you know with practice reps and game reps that he deserves to play more and so that's something that we got to you know continue to get him into the game more that means you take somebody else off but that's okay you know guys need to play a little less um so they stay fresh and that they're clean throughout the game as well anything else thank you coach all right appreciate it.